Fact number six is that the echidna kind of lost its name. The first scientific name given to the echidna actually lumped them in with the giant anteaters of South America, who they are totally unrelated to. Once we realized this relationship between echidnas and platypuses, they were briefly put in the genus Ornithorhynchus, which made them a group in the platypuses. Now, later on, they gave them their own group, and that is where the name echidna came in. Now, the word echidna traces back to a Greek mythological creature who was half woman, half reptile. Problem is, sometime later, biologists realized that this name, echidna, was already given to a species of fish. So that name got taken away from the echidna, and uh, they were renamed tachyglossus, which basically means fast tongue, and that is their scientific name today. However, because people had already been calling them echidnas, the name literally stuck. So we know them as echidnas, even though formally echidna refers to a fish, and tachyglossus remains their scientific name today.